Welcome, Internet, to Pigskin Prognostifications, the Thanksgiving edition. Uh, in uh, the honor of our great holiday, I got the, the Tom Brady Dorco Plenty over here. Friggin' fruit basket. Yeah, I would, I think I, if I, if I were lining up against him, you know what I'd be turning his in, the inside of his head into? Applesauce. <laughs> ah, pump, oh, it'd be like pumpkin great. puree uh, that's protocol. That's funny. It'd be like, oh, I scoop up all this goop after I sack his ass. That's yeah. right. That's if I were playing. I don't, theory. as many of you know. Now, uh, we noticed that my foot condition is uh, not improved. You know, the Giants beat the, the Chiefs this week. They squeaked one out, and I asked, I says, maybe you could go get my foot back? And uh, they was laughing and they said, maybe you put it in milk, put some sea monkey uh, seeds on it, see if it grows back. <laughs> That's right. right. Hey, but you know what? Your attitude is much better. This week. Yeah. Well, yeah. I You're mean, adapting, I'm, sir. I'm not crying all the time, I'll tell you that much. I'm a man, but I can cry. I can show emotion. Yes, sir. It doesn't smell as Scream me out. Either. What happened to yeah. my foot? Right. Why yeah. did I pay you? Why did I bet a football game for my foot? Right. They said I ain't met my deductible. Mm -hmm. and they said maybe I should lump it. I don't know what that means. Lump it. <laughs> yeah, lump it. Just lump it. Yeah, so I'm trying to get with it. You know, I, I got it. I adjusted my shower shoe. I put duct tape on my shower shoe so it sticks. Yep. You know, because it can feel that it's there. It's like a phantom limb thing, you know. Right. Someday Mark right. Wahlberg is going to play you in a movie, sir. Yeah, Carl Strong. Carl Strong. Carl Strong. Do I am I less attractive to you with one foot? No, no, not at all. I, yeah. I, like I said, I think it's it's smelling better and it's looking better every day. Well, I've been dipping it in the uh, rubbing alcohol. You know, I right. think that that helps with the smell. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. You've been making a lot of good uses of that foot, by the right. way, Carl. Can I say this? There's been a lot of sexism in the media lately. Mm -hmm. Everyone's coming out. Everyone's getting in trouble for things that they did Preaching. or didn't do. Right. People that should be in trouble too, mm -hmm. and some mm -hmm. people that shouldn't. I mean, what? Who's next? Uh huh. Hard who's next? Say. Lawrence Taylor, LT, LT, the great LT. No. Well, he was already in trouble. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he did have that thing with an underage prostitute. Right. But who's next? He was before his time, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was always, always ahead of his time. Now they got, what, 12 women lying about our president? When, how, when's it going to stop? When are the lies going to stop? Right. But I'm here to tell you that I'm an equal opportunity employer. Absolutely. Am I not? Totally. And I'm you giving are. you a license. I, I said, hey. <clears throat> As long as you keep it in line, mm -hmm. and as long as mm -hmm. you say things that I agree with. And I don't talk over you. And you right. don't talk over me, that's right. right. That's a big one. Yeah. And, and I'm going to let you, you have, have your say... own segment. Right. That's progressive. I got progressive. I have lo had a long-standing open invitation to Tony Katane to come on the set mm -hmm. whenever she likes. Mm -hmm. She has not gotten back to me via Twitter. But the invite is open. I believe in progressive causes. I am a feminist in many yes. ways. Yes, he is. That's that's what you say all the time. Yeah. So it's got to right. be true. All right. So, without further ado, yeah. the important female member of my football staff. The you, other okay. female member. Well, I don't technically. You're we'll not, get into that later. Yeah, you're not all woman, though, Fleshlight. You're doing your own segment. Yourself, lady. You she's all remember. grown up, guys. Let's listen to her. Listen, she's got important things to say. I'm taking a back seat right now. Thank you, Carl. Hey, everybody. Hey. So, um, last night, I got inspired by the game. Say the name of the thing. Say it's, the name of the I'm thing. I'm calling it Sapphire's Gem of the Week, okay? And I just want to point out somebody who I think was really special in this weekend's football stuff. And um, it was a game last night, and my gem of the week is a player whose foot stepped up when his teammate's skull dropped dead, okay? Well, not dead, but like down, like he couldn't play anymore. 
okay? And it is for Philadelphia Eagles linebacker, Camu Grugier Hill, Grugier Hill. G Hill. I don't know. Camu. We're just going to call him Camu. He was the linebacker. And their kicker, okay, this guy named Jake Elliott, he like got some big balls early on in the game and he decided, I'm going to tackle that Dallas guy, Ryan Switzer. And he did it, but his head hit the guy's knee. And like at first, he passed the NFL's concussion protocol because they were like, do you they, have How a many fingers did they hold up? Did they hold up fingers? I think so, yeah, like two, and he was like, I they don't know. They always hold up two, right. always. It's always Easy two. to beat that test. That's right. But they did ask him, they just said, hey, do you have a concussion? And he was like, no. And they were like, okay, you pass. So he kicked a couple more times and he did all right, but then he tried to kick a 34 yard field goal. And like he was dizzy and the thing just didn't even come close to the, this thing, you know, the yellow thing with the arm. It was a field goal attempt and he blew it. So they were like, okay, two things. You have a concussion and Dallas sucks. So we don't have a backup kicker. What are we gonna do? And that is when Camus stepped up and emerged as like a hero of last night's game. And like he was a respectable kicker. Like I think that's his real calling because as a linebacker, he sucked for the Patriots and like he's with the Eagles and he hasn't done much. Like, I don't think he's ever sacked anybody or like forced a fumble or any of that stuff that I guess they're supposed to do, but he did kick. And he kicked three times and they were all fine. And so that really made me think about my best friend and awesome dancer, Opal Appaloosa. Like I was there the night that she emerged as one of the top dancers in our club. Rudy's Breasts and Wings, okay, because Topaz Thoroughbred was getting ready to do her ass thunderclap routine, right? And she hit some glitter with her stiletto and she fell and she pulled her glute muscle. That's and we right. were like, is Very anybody out there gonna be able to take her place and dance, right? And what's the glute protocol? Right, okay, so at first, you know, Rudy was like, just get one of the cocktail waitresses, okay? And I was like, look, a cocktail waitress might be able to like push your boobs together and serve a shot to you, all right? But that's not the same skill set as that's what right. we do. Right, Carl? So anyway. Uh, no, what, what, How many fingers okay. in a glute protocol? I got a little exactly, wing sauce like, on the back gotta, of your hair. That's fine. I just, there's out. no napkins here. So anyway, all right, like we were like, any volunteers, get up here, get on this pole, show us your stuff. And there's Opal celebrating with some friends that she like just graduated law school, right? But the pole called to her, as can happen lots of times, okay, when girls Get come up. to a strip club. And so she got up there, and you guys, I'm telling you, she was amazing. Like, she was able to get up on that pole and moon waltz like I've never seen before, okay? So in the next six weeks, she emerged as like a legend in our industry, you know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, her family disowned her and people were like, what the F? But she was like, look, I feel it in my soul that I've got to dance. And so she was a great dancer. She was a pioneer in aerial stripping. And then like, she overdosed and died of heroin the next day. But whatever, the point is that in a lot of ways, her story mirrors Camus' story, and that's why Camus is this week's Sapphire Gem of the Week. Hold still. Gem of the Week. Hold still. There we go. Yeah. Right? There we go. Right? Yeah. That was a really good. That was a good segment. She has never done that before, people. I that know, was her but first Carl, time. you let me. Carl. I, yeah, that's right. Give it up for me. Carl, feminist. Raise the roof. Uh. Feminist. And yeah, it, I am a feminist icon in many ways. And you're like a leader in women's rights. That's right, yeah. Uh, the gla I'm all about the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. I like them glass coffee tables, though, where you get under them, you know, and then right. they dance on top. And do other that's stuff. Yeah, right. that's how well, they do other yeah. stuff. You better believe it. Mm -hmm. Now we got a count point counterpoint. What well, count? I'm, I'm speaking out. I'm speaking out for women everywhere. You call yourself a woman or a man? I... I have whatever you need me to be, Kyle. Hey, you're both. We're, you're trans. Hey, we're enlightened here. That's right. We are super enlightened here. I'm running for city council. 
You gonna shed the light, sh uh, uh, fleshy? That's right. It's time to shed a light. I need a drink. This hadn't been on the ground that long. You know. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. You know, from Trump's tweets to concussions, the NFL is uh -oh. dealing with what seems like an endless line of off-the-field distractions that have gotten in the way of what truly makes the game great. And what makes the game great is that it was created by men, for men, to entertain men. And as such, I ask you, what is more entertaining than a group of young women with their tanning bed tans, pigtails, and tight-knit sweaters bearing the colors and markings of each man's favorite tribe? Before there was fantasy football, football was a fantasy for millions of men who watched the NFL every Sunday afternoon, alone in their living room with a box of Crunch and Munch, and a gas station jumbo cup filled with crushed ice and wild turkey. And a tireless erection for the first lady of football, Phyllis George. Yes, before the NFL became a multi-billion dollar business, before players were emasculated in their pink cleats, or precious time was wasted so that an unwanted child could miss a field goal from five yards during halftime, there were four simple elements of the game, offense, defense, special teams, and ass in the air. Every televised break commenced and climaxed with a fully choreographed dance routine that induced enough sexual tension to keep this sex toy modeled after the vagina of Alexis, Texas, busy through entire promotions for beers, pickup trucks, and men's deodorant. For the American male, it was the true circle of life. But now, it seems that circle of life has been castrated. And like so many animals that the... Like so many animals, the American male is an endangered species. It's time for a reset, Mr. Goodell. More cheerleader... More cheerleaders, less all-temperature cheer. Let's make gridiron glory what? whole again. That's my two cents. But I'll... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm enlightened. I let I I this is hey this is this show only works if we're firing on all pistons. Mm -hmm. That's right. And when my sex right. toy and my girlfriend well, um, yeah. I allow my girlfriend to do her thing. Well, okay. Capital G. I got girlfriend. so many pistons like, firing at me right now. I am a girl and I am his friend. Yes, that's true. All right. Can we talk? about Marshawn Lynch for a second. Sure. Yeah. I don't like the fact that he, not only outside of our country, did not do, stand for the flag, that mm -hmm. he stood for the Mexican uh, anthem. That's right. What's that about? It's like standing up with hey, La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Wow. Stands up. Right. Living La Vida Loca, doing the Macarena to support them when they're pushing drugs into our country, now I'm not even talking about the good drugs, bad ones too. That's right. Mm -hmm. Although many he, drugs are are good. Is he Spanish though, Carl? Maybe. No, no beast mode. Oh okay. no, no. I was just wondering. My my two cents is mm -hmm. beast mode better get into yeast mode and rise up. The next time the American flag gets displayed, right? Am I? Are you with me? That, sir, is a T-shirt. Yeah. You better believe it. Okay. All right. Now, we got to do an interview for Thanksgiving. We got. We're gonna talk to Ross Tucker. Let's go to the we, field. We go Carl. over to the field. Let's do it. Princeton Tiger, Ross Tucker. Oh, is that way he's always oh, some Ivy League nerd? All right. This ought to be good. Where is he? Hello. Ross Hello. Tucker. Where are you, brother? Hello. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm, at, I'm much better after I'm talking to you, man. Let's so, do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. Tucker, turn on the video. This oh, is professional, video. professional TV. Yes. Turn on the video. Take the tape off that little camera you got on your laptop. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Hi. I know you've been I there. Didn't... 
Otherwise, it was going to be Marshawn Lynch's face in your voice. That that's, would be right. Weird. that's right. That's uh, right. Nice. Nice. Now, listen, man. You played on Thanksgiving, have you not? I did. It was awesome. Yeah. I think Thursday game's a killer. I love it. And I think all the NFL players are too, too. I hear a couple mm -hmm. of them complaining, but I'm sitting there going, you got your whole weekend ahead of you after that's Thursday, right. right? They got like 10 extra. That's they've got like a 10-day rest period or whatever. We don't get that that's in my job. That's a thousand percent right. That's mm -hmm. a you know, here's the thing. So first of all, you guys will appreciate this, okay? If you play on Thursday, you do nothing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because you just played on Sunday. So the work week is crazy easy. Right. You don't even practice. Mm -hmm. Then you play on Thursday and you get the whole weekend off. It's like a second bye week. I loved it. I know a lot of guys feel the same way. And by the way, even if they don't, the NFL players get mm -hmm. over $275 million a year from the Thursday night TV package, which comes out to about $165,000 per player. That is a Princeton so, Tiger right there. Right. There you go. Right. There, if That's you, the Miami League talk right there. Yeah. You break it. If you actually told the players that and, and you said, hey, hey, two weeks from now, we'll give you an extra 175 grand. You want to play on Sunday or Thursday? Uh, Thursday. They would all say Thursday for the money. That's right. Is that why they added the Thursday game? Like, does every Thursday game get that kind of package? Yes. Yeah, so they, well, that's the entire package, but they only ask every guy to play one time on Thursday. You only have to play one Thursday a year. And you'll get one 165 Thursday. G's. That's more than I made well, in a decade, as far as the IRS well, the money, knows. That's right. right, right. <laughs> Smart, Carl. Well, the money goes into uh, the money goes into into the salary cap. So it's not every guy gets 165. You know, the stars actually end up getting more. Of it. But mm -hmm. the point is, is that amount of money goes into the pool for the players. Yeah. Ah, okay. Hey, Ross. My, uh, I'm sorry. I went to sleep there for a second. You started talking salary cap, and I'm like, okay. uh, no, I want to talk about <laughs> big time Smash Mouth football. Yeah. Right. 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 Now you, Let's you, do it. you, uh, you played for you played for a lot of teams in your career, and you played Thanksgiving Day though. Yeah. Who'd you play for? Yeah, Cowboys. I mean, it, was all, it, the it, it was awesome. The Cowboys. Two, 2002 for the Cowboys, and you'll appreciate this. It was a month after the Redskins had fired me. So the Redskins cut me. I get picked up the next day on waivers by the Cowboys. A month later, I'm starting for the Cowboys against the Redskins on Thanksgiving. Everybody watches the Thanksgiving games. We won. They lost. It was awesome. Did you tell your new team about all their plays? Did you mm -hmm. give them, show them the playbook and all that? Good question, Carl. That's what I would do. A thousand percent. You'll pre so. Yes. How about this? When, Do you tell what Omaha means? Room. Yeah, dude. I went in the locker room right after the Redskins had cut me, mm -hmm. and, and after the Cowboys had picked me up to get my stuff. And Steve Spurrier, the coach for the Redskins, says, "Hey, uh, Tucker, don't be telling the Cowboys any of my secrets." I was like, "Yeah, right, dude." As soon as I go there, I'm going to tell them every single thing you do. I'm going to tell them about your pathetic offense as soon as I get there. What, is oh. it, what, what, what does he have, like a 200-page like a playbook that every page just says, go deep? Yeah. So right. long. You know what? The he old ball coach. He just has a visor that not says, much go behind, deep on it. That's right. right. Not much behind that visor. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have no idea how he has success in college. Because out of my nine NFL head coaches, he was by far the worst. Whoa. By far. Really? Who Whoa. is the best one? Who's Who is the best, best? one? Who is the Belichick. Uh, Belichick. Don't Belichick. say that in this room. Say someone else. Anyone Carl. else but him. Uh, Pick all somebody right. else. Uh, Joe Gibbs. Joe Gibbs. Okay. okay. Well, well you, want, you want we'll one of the that. hogs. You're too young to be a hog. You ain't never no, one of the hogs. My favorite coach was Marty Schottenheimer. Schottenheimer. Oh, right. Schottenheimer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. There you go. Do you ever play for his son? Uh, well, well, Brian was the quarterback coach in Washington that year, yeah. Of course he was, yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah. how it works, nepotism. Good. That's why I don't have a kid, so I don't have to look out for him getting a job. Man, you're going to live forever. <laughs> right. Hey, so you you were, were you two-time All-American, academic All-American at Princeton? What, like communications yeah. degree? That's how it works, I right? I wish, man. I wish. They don't have stuff like that at Princeton. It's like history, philosophy. I majored in politics because I could just write papers rather than actually take tests. 
I see wow. all these football okay. players with communications degree, and I say, dude, I got a TV show on the internet, and I didn't have to study Jack. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right, sir. <laughs> now, you do, you, do you agree you, with the assessment that, like, Princeton is the Dubai University version of all the other Ivy League schools? Yeah, I think, um, I think that what they say about Princeton is that it's the DeVry of central New Jersey. Okay, I was just wondering. Yeah. Princeton's a whole. There's <laughs> much be more beautiful places in the Garden State mm -hmm. than Princeton. I'll tell you that much right now. When you're applying to college there, did it say, check which position you want to play on the football team? Did you get a choice? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, um, let's just say I'm pretty confident I would not have gotten admitted based solely on my own academic merit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, now, you got dinged up pretty good in the NFL, right? You got your bell rung pretty hard. You never, you never got a, the chance to play against Jumbo Elliott. He's one of the great no. all-time great offensive yeah. linemen. Because you're an offensive lineman are you, are too, you, so. Wait, you're, you're a Jets fan from Jersey? No, oh, no. No, no sir. Don't okay, you wait, dare wait, say wait. that in here. I'll Easy crawl call. through the internet. Easy in your call. face. No. Giant. G-Man. Giant. G-Man all the way. Oh, yeah. got it, got it. I got, got Jumbo got tattooed on my left hey, buttock. Uh, how, are the, how, how are the Giants doing this season? I don't pay attention that closely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you don't pay attention. How are you, you, you really digging it in, aren't you there? I know, they, 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 they're looking up. He doesn't they're have a foot up. because of the Giants. They ain't giving up on the season, I'll tell you that much. They've had some bad injuries and also some bad uh, coaching and playing. And what can you do with that? You know, what are you going to do? I, I try, I... I try to will them to victory every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah, it doesn't work. Are you, sure, are you sure they would? Are you shouldn't be? Are you sure they wouldn't be better off losing so they can draft a quarterback and get rid of Eli? Don't you, okay. don't you come on to my TV show and talk to me about <laughs> Eli Manning not doing the job. Because. He does not have the receivers. They are all injured. He's got no one to throw to. Eli is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Having a rough year because he ain't got no one to throw to, and mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know what to do, short of trying out for the team myself. Right. Odell Beckham, Beckham, has completely let him down this year. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you an Odell Beckham Jr. fan? You don't see him like an Odell Beckham Jr. Type no, of guy. I do not. Actually, I do not like how he has taken over the, t the leadership position of the team. He I is a showboat. Like not true, sir. You had Odell. Like him. Tattooed on your foot until it was chopped off, off, and now it just says ode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ode to a foot, to a missing foot. I once seen Odell Beckham catch a ball with his pinky. He, mm -hmm. like, stuck his pinky out, and he, got, he was able to catch it with the air hole where they put the pump needle. Mm -hmm. That's how good he is. That's how good that's he how is. That's how good he is when he's out there. When he's on his game, that's how right. good he is. Mm -hmm. You don't like Odell? He's got skills, uh, man. I love, him. I, I love him as a player. I'm not a big fan of the way he goes about his business. No, like like skipping all of the off-season practices, not a big fan of that. No, I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm, I'm, a, I'm about commitment. That's why I watch every game. I That's watch true. every minute of every game, even the ads, because mm -hmm. I'm committed. That's right. And I don't think he's and, as committed. And a lot of the old seasons, too. He likes to watch those a lot. A lot of the old Giants. I wouldn't wear my hair like he does, either. Right. I think that that's disrespectful to the game. Although, it probably gives him extra Everybody padding in his it. helmet. Hmm. Now, you played for the Pats, right? The one year Correct. they The one year they didn't win the Super Bowl. The one were you, year they were didn't you the reason? The Super Bowl. Were you the reason? No, although I did play in that Denver game, we lost in the AFC divisional round. We lost. I, I had it all because I, I had played for Buffalo before that, so I had it all planned out. What I was going to do with the Super Bowl tickets, who I was going to bring. Mm -hmm. It was a real bummer that we lost. If Tom Brady was behind me, I'd do like the guy did in the longest yard, or where I just move over a little bit and go, go ahead, dude, hit him, cream him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why, oh. why, why, do you, why do you dislike Brady? Why do you like Brady? him? Why you want to kiss him and hug him? He's an American hero. Uh oh. And if oh, he gets no. drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he's out of the league. 
12 years ago. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. And still with his first wife, some stewardess. He's, some, he's the Steve DeBerg of the NFL. <laughs> So, okay, and I'm so going on record. Okay. I have a TV show. I'm going on record as saying that. And if he don't like it, he can come here and tell it to my face. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. You wait. A minute, you so you think it's all Belichick? Yeah, yeah I do. System. I do. It's the, the dark. system. It's the system. <laughs> the dark hoodie. He yeah. knows. He knows all. And if he does, well, he we'll, videotapes we'll, we'll, it and studies it. Right. I hope I hope he coaches after Brady's done, so we can see if it's more Brady or more Belichick. Did you see? Oh, what was it? Well, who was the dude? The uh, Brady was out, out, and then they went ten and six with Castle. Yeah, that's Come right. On. Freaking Castle. Yeah, so what? They went undefeated the year before. So you're saying Brady's worth six games? They were undefeated the year before. Ross, let me ask, so you, one ask you one question. Let me ask you one question, sir. Uh oh. Can you throw a little dump off pass? Could you do it? There you go. Down, down. This is how far. This is what Brady does, okay? Uh, Ross, yeah, Ross, probably. watch. Watch this for your show. This is what Brady does. Omaha. One, two, three, Omaha. Omaha. That's how far he throws it. That's right. I didn't this is a Rich that. Gannon dink and dunk. You guys must not have been watching yesterday when he hit Brandon Cooks with a couple bombs in Mexico City. <laughs> yeah, well, the air is lighter there. I could throw it that far down mm -hmm. there i wouldn't go down there that's just science but it, it the air is different that's just science mm -hmm. straight up that's right very scientific i mean you went to princeton you should know that right mm -hmm. i guess but i guess you don't know everything huh? in politics yeah, I though took, yeah I, I didn't take i took geo 210 that was called rocks for jocks rocks for jocks <laughs> that that's what sense. we called it i don't remember what it was really called but that, mm -hmm. that fulfilled the science requirement that's great. all right Listen, we're going to do our Thanksgiving picks. You got anything to plug, Ross? Yeah, yeah man. Ross Tucker, football, Ross Tucker Football Podcast. All right. Oh, Ross wow. Tucker Football Podcast. And that's all that's right. That's right. It's, it's life changing. And if you don't like it, money back guarantee. What do you talk about? Are that? you freaking serious? You got to pay money? This is no, free. Yeah, I do this true. free. And they get half it's an hour free. of that's genius. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, uh, is that, so that's not is that on AM radio? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> that's Download, where I get my just, sports. Just, just Google it on your flip phone. <laughs> oh. Assuming I got a flip order. phone. Uh -huh. I got a landline, smart guy. Looks like he's running yeah. for state senate. It does. And I got DSL. <laughs> I got a deal on it too. I didn't pay for it because I pulled it off my neighbor's house. Mm-hmm. All right, really we're going to pick the games for this uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, you're ready Let's to pick the games. Let's do it. Let's pick them around, Ross. Let's you going to pick some games up. with us? We're going to pick the Let's Thanksgiving games. Oh, no, we got to pay for the podcast to get the picks. That's right. The I, I I'm the the I'm give, What's he drinking, Carl? I'm What's giving Ross out the drinking? winners for free. <laughs> what do you got back there? Uh, you got a little crayon and what vodka? You got, what you got out there? That's how I roll when I'm doing my football. As soon as the game starts, I'll get an IPA. Yeah? It's it's water in your little steel cup. IPA. Yeah, it's a, in your uh, steel tumbler. It's a, uh, it's a it's a Yeti. It's a Yeti. Oh, so it keeps it cold. I get it. I, I used to it. be a yeah. Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, it's called it's called the Even Money Podcast. I do gambling picks too. What? Oh, uh, there you go, podcast. Carl. You should have talked to him before you did your place, Giants I make wager. My picks for this week. Yeah, I bet. Okay. I bet. I bet my foot Sweet. that the Giants would beat the 49ers, and look what happened. It didn't work. We told him not to do it. We tried. Not good. Flashlight and I tried. All right, Vikings and Lions, who do you like, Ross? I will be at that game, by the way. I'll be calling that for Westwood One Radio, so when you're driving ah, to your nice. grandma's house, listen to me on the radio calling the game. I'm going with the Vikings. They're playing extremely well right now. Detroit's kind of a, a one-trick pony with Stafford, and mm -hmm. their defense has been opportunistic, but they're not good. Give me the Vikings. They're awesome. Wow. What do you say, Sapphire? Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Vikings because I told you before when I picked them, I really like Game of Thrones and, like, the whole pillaging thing and the guy with the helmet. Yeah. So I'm going Vikings for the, sure. All right. Lots of lions in Game of Thrones, too. 
They aren't many lions. What are you talking no, about? The Dothraki, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no, no Vikings, lions. that's for sure. Yeah, Lannister's but they've got alone. those helmets and stuff like that in that show. <coughs> Whatever, Matt. What? Matt, you're just you sad got? because you can't pick you? like. Who are you picking, Matt? Teams. Picking the uh, Vikings as well, going with the crowd, I guess. Mm. I think Case Keenum has made the case to play quarterback for the Vikings. That's my point of the week. The Vikings. You're going to Vikings. Also, they it's discovered America first. Yeah. Vikings discovered America. I'm going all in on the Alliance because. Because you always lose. What, no, <laughs> you lose no any because more no, actually because if anybody's ever seen the video of Matt Stafford playing with a separated shoulder, mm -hmm. that's the most inspiring video I've ever seen in my entire life. You're a sex toy. All right, let's move on to the next, the next game. game yeah. Let's do the next one. Pulling it up. Chargers, Cowboys. I'm all over the Chargers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Chargers you better Cowboys. believe it. How you better it believe be it. Chargers? The Cowboys have gotten crushed. Goodell, oh, did you see Goodell how bad they lost? has got a vendetta against the Cowboys now. Wouldn't yeah. you agree? That's right. Thanks, oh no, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I just think the Cowboys, without Sean Lee and Tyron Smith and Zeke Elliott, they're just not good. And the Chargers are actually pretty good. Do you see the second half of the game yesterday? <laughs> they like didn't score at all. The Eagles scored like thirty points to zero. It's That's awesome. because they're playing against the e the Philadelphia Eagles, by far the best team in the NFC East. Do you think they're going to the Super Bowl? Is that your prediction? Did you say they were by far the best team in the yeah. NFC? That's what he said. That's what he said. We will see, won't That's we, my what he brother? Said. That we was will a see. delayed reaction right there, by the well, way. Well, I, I was I, I, I just Very realized you were starting yeah. to, to push my buttons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then in the nightcap, it's the Redskins Giants. Of course, I'll take the Redskins. Nobody in their right mind would take the Giants. <laughs> okay, Carl, are you okay? <laughs> Ross, give me a chance. Carl, are you okay? You know how they call timeouts? Ross, you know, I gotta to, win some to, games ice, to ice the kicker, Ross. Mm -hmm. I'm about yeah. to timeout your Skype. I'm about to, to call a timeout on your Skype to ice you and your opinions. Yeah, Ross. of course. Of course, everyone's gonna go with the Redskins. More Why wouldn't they? A better quarterback, yeah. mm -hmm. better running game. Yeah. But they defense. don't have heart. They don't have heart, and that's what it takes to win in this league. It's Carl, not what it takes. Carl, don't yeah. listen to your heart Each anymore, one of those okay? players has a heart. Not on the Giants. Not this year. They got no, Matt. Redskins McAdoo well. has got a new scheme. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he's got a new scheme. Carl, he's he doesn't. Gonna, no, he doesn't. He's going to turn the Redskins. <laughs> Carl, Their he heads doesn't. are going to be on a swivel. No, Carl. They're going to be like, what happened? They never have scored more easily in their lives. Okay. I think also it's wrong that a team called the Redskins would win on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is Good a point. day for all of Americans, but not Which the Redskins helped Native us with, Americans. Right? That's right. No, they helped us. They, they, That's how we like survive. The word survive. American is in their name. Yeah. No, but in many ways, not. In many what ways. You, no, what? that doesn't. I don't think that's in many right. Ways, you never in to many ways, they tried to prevent play. America from being the great country that it is. They gave us you the mean food because for they the were here first? We, we invented corn. No, we didn't. I don't think that's we right, did. Carl. We invented the word corn. They were calling it maize for 300 years before that, though. Yeah, but they were using it to, like, I don't know, like, they were eat. trying to kill buffalo with it. <laughs> using it to okay. eat. I don't know. I, we, brought, we were the ones that brought penicillin to the Indians. And syphilis. Thank you very much. <laughs> For the penicillin. Yeah. But That's you right. didn't trade. And so, and I vote, <laughs> and I pick my games based on symbolism. Right. And That's so, right. the Giants will, will send a trail of tears. For oh. the Indians, oh, wow. the Breadskins. That's right. Well, you're not betting any more appendages, are you? On no, this? Okay. no, no, no. I learned my lesson there. He's already lost That's his right. head. That's right. Well, I'm going with the Redskins. Yeah. I think most other people will be yeah. going Washington. We may limit your airtime next week. I'm, I'm all, all right. over the Giants. You say that now, Carl, but look over here. Carl, I'm look taking over the here. Giants. There you go, flashlight. You know where, you, you know where your bread is buttered. That's right. Mm -hmm. butter. I do have some questions for Ross about some horse races at Belmont this week. Now that I know he's in bed with Vegas. 
Yeah, it's gambling I don't show. Do the I don't do the horses. I can help you with NFL games on the Even Money Podcast, but I can't help you with the horses. All right, Ross Tucker, the Even Money Podcast. Thank you. Former Ross. NFL Podcast. great, all offensive tackle, and Princeton All-American. That's right. Snoot. A little yeah. snooty. He's a little snooty about the Ivy League thing, but we let it go. But he went yeah. to, like, the least Ivy of the Ivy Leagues. No. That'd be That'd brown. Be brown. Sa says nobody. Says nobody. <laughs> 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 I went to refrigeration school, but right. the, it cost too much. I can ones. figure out most of that stuff on my own. Anyways, mm -hmm. Ross, thanks for being on the show. Thanks Bye, for your pigskin prognostifications, brother. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Ross. The Even you Money Podcast, awesome. man. And on Westwood yeah, One. Podcast. All right. Are we done or are we talk we're about what we're thankful for? Let's do we're, it. We're ready to leave. Let's be we're ready thankful. to leave. I'm not yeah. thankful for that much, honestly. What? I mean, we can probably cut this together because I'm not thankful. Look, what I get, I earn. Mm -hmm. So for me or to be stale. thankful is to imply that, uh, you know, that I owe something to someone. Mm -hmm. I think. I will say this. Gracious. For me, maybe. I am mm -hmm. thankful for my girlfriend, Sapphire. Oh, okay. Is We've kind of had a will they, won't they thing going for Mostly many weeks now. Those. Sam and Diane. I don't. Um, okay, Carl. What are you thankful for? No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Me? Yeah. Um, I'm thankful for uh, stilettos and Taco Tuesdays. Time we spend together. And um, bubble machines. And um, my new boobies. Yeah, you get a lift. Nice. Mm -hmm. They look yeah. good. Thanks. That's and, good. Like and, I, for a while there, I was putting like the dollar bills and it would they just fall to the ground. Right. Now I'll hold them but together they get, again. They like they'll stay for a long time. There's a lot of storage space in there. Yeah. There it's you really go. Nice. Yeah. Fleshy. And um, for the show. Carl. Fleshy, what do yes. you ha what do you have yes, to be thankful for? Well, I am thankful every day, not just this one day, but every day that I can relieve your stress and no. give you the pleasure you so greatly deserve, sir. That's right, brother. Sister, whatever you. That's whatever. I am whatever you need me to be. That's Put right. them on the keg. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much, and when you sit down to have your Ham and malt liquor this Thursday. Mm -hmm. I want okay. you to think about us and what we've done this year to benefit you. That's right. Be thankful for that. You should pray for that. Right. Because some internet shows don't last, mm -hmm. you know. But we're, we're here to stay. We're here Season to stay. 17. We'll be here forever. Mm -hmm. right. We're mm -hmm. like MASH of the internet. That's right. <laughs> we're the MASH. Matthew yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the show. Oh, you see is, the resemblance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. All right. Listen, be good. Be thankful that we killed the Indians. All that's right. Not, that is beautiful. That's, that, okay. That's, that's not. In God we, in God we trust, and in America we are so proud. Oh, now. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Thanksgiving.